Hello everyone, this is Mr. Cazado, and I wanted to do a review of box plots. So some of these problems will be the same that we did in class, but I think it's a good review. So if you look at the screen, we wanted to find the median quartile 1, quartile 3, and interquartile range. I'm also going to add the range uh, to this, so just as a review. Uh, the median is the number in the middle, so in this case it's going to be the 32. So there's uh, four numbers to the left, four numbers to the right. So 50% of the data is less than the median, 50% of the data is greater than the median. Uh, quartile three is the middle of the first half. So it's the middle of 10, 25, 26, and 28. Since there is no technical middle, it's the middle of 25 and 26, so 25.5. Then the middle of the upper half, is in between the 42 and the 49. So quartile three is 42 plus 49 divided by two, or 45.5. Now remember, uh, there's 25% of, of the data in each box and whisker, and we'll I'll talk about that more. Uh, then the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. So to do that, 45 and a half minus 25 and a half, which is 20. And the range is the maximum minus the minimum. So in this case, 55 minus 10, which is 45. So we did this example in class, but I wanted to review uh, quartiles, interquartile range and range. Um, we also, this is the same, um, look at the box plot. So when you look at the box plot here, just to refresh what I kind of said earlier, there is 25% of the data in that blue box. There is 25% of the data in the red whisker. There is 25% of the data in the orange whisker. There is 25% of the data in the purple box. Even though the purple box is smaller than the blue box, each box represents 25% of the data. Same thing with each whisker. All right, this is a different problem. Um, again, the median is the number in the middle. In this case, there's two, four, six, eight, ten numbers. So the middle is going to be in between the 32 and the 36. So the median is going to be 34, the average of 32 and a half, not 36. When you look at the first half, the middle of the first half is that 26. And the middle of the upper half is the 46. Again, the interquartile range and range, if you want to pause the screen, go ahead and pause it and calculate them. The interquartile range is 46 minus 26, which is 20, and the range is 90 minus 10, which is 80. We're going to take a look at the box plot again. So in this box plot, uh, just to refresh your mind, this number here was called an outlier. For an extension, you can watch a video on how to mathematically calculate an outlier. And then, again, 25% of the data is in each box, 25% of the data is in each whisker. We also did this on our graphing calculator, where we typed in the data and did one variable statistics. Uh, here's a compare and contrast of the two box plots. All right, so in the homework, um, we did do problems like this. If you want to pause the screen and answer these questions, go ahead and answer these questions. And then I will go through each of these questions. Um, so again, pause the screen if you'd like to go through them on your own. And then I will go through them. All right, first quartile is this 72. So the first quartile is 72. The Minimum, so the first quartile was 72. Minimum is the 38. So the minimum is 38. Median is the 88. Quartile 3 is the 96. That means 75% of the data is less than 96. So 75% of the data is less than 96. These were hypothetical scores for a six period. Um, maximum is 102. The interquartile range, you're going to subtract Q3 and Q1, which I just circled, so 96 
minus 72. When you do that on your calculator, you get 24. So the middle 50%, there's 50% of the data is in that uh, interquartile range, so 24. And the range is the maximum minus the minimum. So in this case, it'd be 102 minus 38. Doing that on your calculator, you get 64. Um, oops, I made a mistake on this uh, screen. It should say 64 there, a typo. So 102 minus 38 is 64. All right, how many students are in the class? Um, notice I wrote how many. We don't know how many people are in the class, so you cannot answer this question. So you cannot answer this question. So here's a summary of the problems that we just did. And just want to remind you that they're in this whisker here in purple, there's 25% of the data. In the red whisker, there is 25% of the data. Even though that purple whisker is longer, it just it means the bottom 25% is more spread out than the upper 25%. All right, problem number nine. What percent scored above 88? So there's 25% in that box, 25% in that whisker. So that would be 50%. What percent scored below 72? It is this long whisker here. So below 72, 25%. What percent, percent scored below 96? Well, there's 25% in each box and 25% in the whisker. So 25, 25, and 25, 75%. Uh, what percent scored between 72 and 96? That's the middle 50% here, so 50%. Now, how many students scored below 88? Well, we know that there's 50%, but we do not know how many students there are. Therefore, we cannot tell. So we cannot tell from the box and whisker how many students scored less than 88 unless we were given more information. So hopefully this helps you understand box and whisker plots. We're going to go through another example. All right, so on the screen, I tell you that there are 60 boys and 92 girls. And I want you to answer these seven questions. Feel free to pause the screen and answer these right now, or you can watch the video and I will explain each of them. What percent of girls are taller than 65? So that's that box and whisker, so 50%. What percent of boys are taller than 66? It's this box, that box, and that whisker. So 75% because each box and whisker is 25%. What percent of girls are shorter than 67 inches? So 67 uh, for the girls, it's this box, that box, and that whisker. So again, 75%. And there's a typo here, I'm gonna fix that. Uh, number four, what percent of boys are shorter than 66? It's this whisker here, so 25%. Uh, what percent of boys or girls, uh, is the percentage of boys or girls larger or smaller for those uh, shorter than 67 inches? So this is a compare and contrast problem. So number five is a compare and contrast problem. So we want to know, is the percentage of boys or girls uh, larger or smaller for 67 inches? So for the boys, we know that there's 50%. For the girls, we know that there is 75%. So the percent of boys that is shorter than 67 inches is smaller. So the answer to number five is 50% of the boys are shorter than 67 inches, while 75% are shorter for the girls. So the boys' percentage is smaller. 
typo there. Okay, number six, 25% uh, of the girls are taller than what height? So a little bit reverse. So 25% of the girls are taller than what height? So this is 25% that whisker. So the answer would be 67 inches. Okay, so 67 inches there. Okay, and I'm just going to cross out these uh, typos. Uh, number seven, uh, what percent of boys are between 66 and 69 inches? That's these two boxes. Um, ignore uh, this question here. Cross that off. Um, so number seven, it would be 50 percent. Okay, so for number seven, it was 50 percent, and I'm just going to cross off these two typos. All right, so hopefully that answers uh, questions one through seven. The next couple of questions were things that I saw people had difficulty with on the test. Okay, in this problem, it's the same box and whisker plots, but now I'm going to ask you how many girls are between 64 and 67, and so on. Now, if you look at the top, I do tell you the number of boys and the number of girls. Without that information, you would not be able to answer these questions. So for number six, how many girls are between 67 and 64? So this is the middle 50%. So for number five, you would take 50%, which is 0.5 as a decimal, and multiply by 96, because there are 96 girls. So 50% uh, um, times uh, 96 is 48. So there'd be 48 girls there. Um, in number nine, how many boys are between 69, or excuse me, 66 and 69? Again, that's the middle 50%. So you would take 50 times the number of boys, which is 60 at the top of the screen. So that's going to be 30 boys. Number 10, uh, how many girls are taller than 67 inches? So for that, it's that whisker. The whisker is 25%, which is 0.25. So you would take 0.25 of the 96 curls that's at the top of the screen. So 0.25 times 96 is 24. So there are 24 girls that are taller than 67 inches. Uh, number 11, how many boys are taller than 66? That's that box, another box, and the whisker. So that's 75% of 66, excuse me, of 60. So that's 75% of 60. So doing that on my calculator, I get 45. So there are 45 boys taller than 66 inches. So here's a summary of those problems. Again, for number eight, I did 0 0.50 times 96. For number 9, I did 0 0.50 times 60. For number 10, taller, it was 25% of the 96. And for number 11, uh, taller than 66 inches, was 75% of the 60. Okay. The summary here, then, is if you read the summary, um, you can read that on your own, and if you have questions, please let me know. Send me an email, and I will help you.